When you shoot with your X3, you want it to be convenient and easy to use, and you want the best images in the fastest possible way. For image quality, it's essential that you shoot at the maximum resolution of 5.7K when you're shooting in 360. It can be very tempting as a beginner when you see the 4K as an option to shoot in 4K, because 4K does seem like a high enough resolution, but you have to remember that this resolution is shared around the entire 360 image, and when you reframe it, the image quality will be pretty poor in any one direction. Stick to 5.7K whenever possible. For the frame rate, I would change this to match the frame rate that is standard for your country. So for the UK and most of Europe, this is 25 frames per second. And for the USA, it's 30 frames per second, and there are some variations in other countries. For me it's important to have consistency and I edit my 360 stuff alongside my other cameras which all shoot at 25 frames per second. Most edit software can seamlessly cut together footage with different frame rates, but there will be a conversion going on somewhere that will affect image quality. The other setting that can affect image quality is bitrate. So swipe down from the top of your camera to access your settings and then scroll down to video bitrate and select high. Bitrate is the amount of data being transferred in any given second. And a higher video bitrate generally means a higher video quality. Video sharpness underneath here is set to high as standard and you want to set this to medium or sometimes low. This will reduce noise and grain and will make your images look more natural. Experiment with these settings to see which is best for the general situations that you film in the most. Bear in mind that if you are cropping in on your images and your setting is set to low, then your images will look a lot softer when you zoom in. With sharpness, you're trying to create an accurate image that doesn't look too digital and too sharp. So you want to get the best balance here between image accuracy and image clarity. And of course, the medium setting is always a good compromise. Other settings that I change to make using my camera more convenient are things like auto sleep. This is the time it takes for the screen to just turn off and go to sleep. So I would change this to three minutes or even to never. Bear in mind that setting it to never will affect battery life but you can manually turn the screen off and set it to sleep by quick pressing the on button. All to power off I change to 15 minutes. Any shorter and it can be annoying if your camera keeps turning off and you've got to turn it on again every time you want to shoot. But setting it to 15 minutes will cover you if you do forget to turn the camera off and it won't then completely kill the battery. One setting tip for saving battery is changing the brightness of your screen. So you can change this to 50% or whatever you feel comfortable doing. The brightness is on the main settings menu when you swipe down from the top of the screen. Also on this screen you can reduce the volume of the beeping noise that happens every time you click on the screen. And I usually change this to low or to mute. And this is very much a personal thing but if you're filming in a quiet place those clicking noises every time you touch the screen can be very distracting for everyone around you. If you rarely record in single lens mode then I would change the single lens mode button at the front to another record button. And you can do this here in the settings menu menu by going down to customize button by selecting take photo record video and this way no matter which button you press on the front it will go into record mode so there's no way that you can accidentally record in the wrong mode and that tip was part of my 360 camera hacks video which you can watch next here let me know any camera tips you want to share in the comments and i'll see you in the next video